everybody. I wanna point out a mushroom I just found um, that I've never done a video on before. It's not completely dark. I'm shining my light away now so you can see. You can still, still kind of see him, but I'm using my headlamp to kind of just shine some better light on him. This is what's called uh, the comb tooth mushroom. It's a hericium species, much like the uh, lion's mane. And hopefully the these tiny little, I don't even know what to call them, tentacle-like uh, appendages that are coming off it. Or they call it a comb tooth. And this is a very good edible mushroom. I'm gonna take some home and show you how we cook it up. It grows on wood. Uh, this look like they're growing underneath the log, but they're actually growing from the log. I actually saw another one over here on the back side. Just a beautiful mushroom. There's a few places where there's some really small ones growing, just starting to grow. I'm gonna leave those even up here. And kind of coming out from underneath. Okay, it is the next day now. I uh, harvested this comb tooth mushroom and brought it home. I was losing light pretty fast last night when I found it. And I had quite a hike to get out of where I was, so I didn't want to take much time to talk about the mushroom at the moment. But uh, I brought it home, stuck it in the fridge. Today I'm going to clean it up and cook it. So I, I think I called it I said it was a, a hericium mushroom. I have a tendency to pronounce it that way, but I think most people pronounce it hericium. Uh, but it's related to the lion's mane. That's probably the most common and the most popular of the hericium mushrooms. Uh, they're a, a tooth fungus. They have these, what they call little teeth that hang down. I, I think I called them tentacles, but they're not hard, of course. They're very, very soft and pliable. But uh, the, you know, the lion's mane mushroom is more like a, looks more like a, like a big pom-pom sitting on the side of a tree just like a round ball with all these soft teeth hanging down this one is a lot more branched I kind of have some sections of it here so you can see uh, how it branches out but then it has the, the little tiny teeth hanging down from each of the little branches so it's considered a tooth fungus uh, the heresia mushrooms are considered medicinal they've been used in uh, the research is being done still but uh, they've been used in things like treating dementia and um, some mental disorders uh, so that's pretty cool I don't know a whole lot of details about that but you can do some research uh, but they are a delicious mushroom they have a little bit of a, a sour tangy taste to them which I really like um, I've never had this particular variety before I've never had the the uh, comb tooth before I've had lion's mane many times and uh, the bear's head tooth mushroom is the other the other variety that goes around here that I've had um, but yeah I've never actually found this variety before so I'm pretty excited to cook it up uh, they're at least the lion's mane is compared with crab or lobster meat it's called poor man's lobster sometimes you can just kind of saute it and dip it in butter like you would uh, some lobster meat the, the texture is a little similar I imagine this is probably the same or very similar at least even though it's it's not as as thick it's not as solid I guess it's because it's so many little branches but I think the texture is probably pretty similar because they're uh, closely related so but we'll find out here I'm gonna what I'm gonna try doing is dry sauteing them because uh, these things hold a lot of water and release a lot of water when you start cooking them at least the lion's mane does so uh, assuming this is probably the same, I'm going to try going that route, but it's going to take me a while to clean it up. You can see there's a lot of a lot of little uh, dirt and debris and things to, to get washed out of here. It might take me some time, but you know, I'll cook it up and tell you how it is. Alright, so these guys ended up not being very hard at all to clean up. Just uh, a little bit of spray, water spray. I took a little, tiny little bit of scraping in a few places with my knife, but... Ended up pretty clean, and now I'm gonna saute them. All right, so here's what we got going. I've got some here that I cooked up already. 
them in the pan right now. What I've been doing is dry sauteing them because they release a lot of water when you start cooking them. So I'm dry sauteing them until the, it seems like the water is done being released and uh, cooked off. And then I'm adding some butter just for some flavor and then the salt, salt and a little pepper. They taste a bit like Lion's Mane, which has a little bit of a tangy, uh, almost a lemony taste, a little bit. Um, and But the, the texture and almost the flavor kind of reminds you of like lobster a little bit, maybe crab. Not quite as flavorful as crab, but uh, uh, what, I, what I decided to do is sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on them and uh, try it that way. And I really like that. Uh, it gives it definitely a, a bit of a seafood feel to it and flavor. And it's so cool looking. It reminds me of putting up like some calamari or something like that. Little tentacles, but I'm pretty pleased. And that's what I got for the comb tooth mushroom. Thanks for watching.